So before we get into this video, I just wanted to say that this video is not about me poo-pooing on shellac. And I'm also not here to blame the client. I made this video just to share my experience because each product has pros and cons and this service is not any different. Nothing is perfect and perfect product does not exist. As you probably have heard, many nail technicians say it's not the product, it's the bad nail technician that obviously damages the nail. So yes, I agree, but it's not so black and white. So yes, excessive prep, so filing or rough removal can definitely damage the nail. But I also think that there's a third cause and that is the product itself. Of course, the product is not going to eat your nail or dissolve your nails, but two things product related can possibly lead to surface damage. So one is wear and tear and then aging of the product. If you apply the product and then you remove it, especially CND shellac, it removes like a dream and CND calls it a butterfly effect or butterfly, butterfly removal. Unfortunately, in my experience, the product or shellac does not come off like this, especially if the product has been on the nails for a while, because if you apply it and then you wear it for a month, that's different. And I think here's the problem. Shellac is designed for two week wear, but when it lasts, people usually push it. Many times they call or make an appointment when they get a first chip, or sometimes they book two weeks in advance and the day before they cancel because the, their nails still look good and if you try to tell clients to please come in every two weeks even though your nails look good people are going to think that I just want to uh, get them spend more money right and this client in particular she has very strong nails and the product lasts beautifully on her she comes in once a month when I remove the product after a month the product does feel a little brittle so that makes me think that the coating changes over time and this might contribute to the issue and when you wear the product when you really think about it the product is bonded to the surface of the nail cells when you use your hands and you bend the nails and there is a constant pulling on the surface of the nails things can happen either the coating comes off so it peels or if the, co the coating is bonded really well, the coating will pick up the nail cells. And I think this is what we see in this video that I'm going to show you. And by the way, I don't think it's the acetone because acetone temporarily dries the nails or the skin, but it does not damage them. And every chemist will tell you that. And I know that these nails look dry, but they are actually, they have surface damage, which looks dry. So I wanted to mention that this is not a deep damage and IBX treatment in this case would help if the client wanted to go back to natural nails. And I don't find, I don't like using IBX in between treatments because um, I just don't find that it's that helpful. Okay, so now let's watch, let's watch the video. And this is removal of a product that has been on the nails for a month. And as you can see, I actually buffed off the top coat a little bit because this, these two nails, the thumb and the ring finger had two coats of um, gel polish, so two coats of shellac, plus a layer of glitter. And that usually makes the product come off a little bit uh, more difficult. So as you can see, the removal is done properly the the cotton pad is fully saturated and then you'll see me also apply well the clips so the the, the product sits on the nail properly and now removing the shine a little bit which did actually help Mm, the removal process. I time the removal process just to make sure that the, pro the acetone has been on the nails long enough. And in this case, it was 10 minutes. So as recommended, I used the, the original base coat, sorry, the original top coat, which it does have eight minute soak off time. So I gave it actually 10 minutes and I put it under heat and the heat helps the removal process as well. So, okay. So here's, take a look. As you can see, the product, the shellac is gone completely, but you can see here, there are pieces of nail that are picked up. There's just loose pieces of nail. And now I just removed it with very, very gently with a wooden stick. And as you can see, 
there were there was some nail cells so i had to use a very soft buffer just to remove it because you cannot apply shellac on the rough surface like that and this is again check it check it out you see and what happens is also i wanted to mention very often people say well use the awfully fast well the thing is with these removers that do contain um, oils the oil does not really protect the nail because as you can see it still removes the product so basically it breaks down the plastic what it does actually it leaves the oil behind and oil hides a lot of the damage so the oil is going to seep in into these little uh, little pockets and make the nail look better but the damage is there it's just it's hiding there and i'm not applying a lot of pressure Okay, here's, I just stopped to show you. Very gentle removal, and I scrub it again with, uh, with acetone just to make sure, and as you can see, right? Definitely. And here actually, there is almost like a little crack th halfway through the nail. And I think it happens, there is usually more damage in the stress area right here. And this is where the nail bends. So I think this just contributes again, the wear and tear to, to the damage of the nail surface. Cause it's, again, it's not the removal because the product came off completely. And check this out. Right? You can see the damage right there. And now notice that here, you're going to see after the product is removed that there is most damages right here. So it's not from scraping the product. Now I'll show you after this quick video, uh, there is also, um, I've included in this video, a removal from the previous time, a month earlier. Now look at this. Look at this white spot right here. All this damage. Hold on, look at this. This here. There's like a whole flake that came off the nail. And I'm not pushing, see this, this little piece? see so this is the previous removal so check it out again the client uh, i'm going to get rid of this so the client comes in and you can see the product came off right away and you can see the white spot over here sorry about this right there Again, half the product came off. The rest came off very, very easily. There was some base coat, and can you see? There was a bit of a surface damage already there. Now, check this out. The white spot was already there. Already there. But overall, the nails were not kind of as bad as they are now. This was again a month ago. So here there was product that came off very, very easily. And the rest comes off very, very easy.
and this actually also soaked for at least 10 minutes. But as you can see, because there was a sparkle on this product, the product did not come off as easily and the thumb is actually the same. So this is why I started buffing the top coat a little bit that had this uh, sparkle. So now, as you can see, it's not bad, this thumb, right? So this is how it looked a month ago. Yeah, I tried to get the, the last bit of the base coat. Can you see? So this was um, a month ago. This was a month ago. This is the best picture I could find. And this was this month. I mean, just a few days ago, right? So there's definitely more surface damage here. And the product came out very, very easily. So let me know what you think.